Uncle Jesus here. Hi, folks. Very disappointed. Very disappointed in a lot of you. First, I'm going to have a little pee. And, and I mean tea. Oh, yeah. Okay. Folks, I don't know what to say. I'm going to do the best I can. I don't think I'm going to make it through the whole show, so now I'm going to have a special guest on the show for you today. Very disappointed. Very disappointed about the confusion. I went to a Christian live stream. I didn't know it was a Christian live stream. I subscribed to a guy from, I guess it's an atheist channel on the live stream old Bible fight club or something. It turned out there'd be about five guys on there talking and they seemed to be all Christian and they seemed to be all confused about what the Holy Spirit is talking to them about through scriptures. And, it, and it's a shame because the one guy said when I commented, and I made the most sense by the way, about Paul and they said, oh, he's an atheist. Well, they didn't even understand what I meant because I was actually agreeing with the next comment. Anyway, I'm going to go all over the place again. And the one guy that I subscribed to, I heard him say, I believe it was him, that, well, I'm new to this, he said to the other Christian. Well, let me tell you something. I understand the newness of it because I've been in it for 40 plus years. And it wasn't until I allowed to think with my God-given brain. The fear of the Lord is all wisdom. You better be afraid not to use your brain, okay? But the problem is, they tell you this, Moses, and it came to pass because they didn't believe. They challenged the thoughts of Moses, don't you dare. Don't you challenge the Moseses of today, either. You got that right. You definitely got that right, Uncle Jesus. <clears throat> hear ye! Hear ye, Uncle Jesus! I'm talking in a low tone now, trying to get my point across. Listen, man. But the Lord told me, they, the Lord told me to respond in this manner. Get back in your place, man. I had nothing to do with it. I tried to warn you about this before. Get the heck out of here, man. So, see what happens was, everybody's fighting over there. They're Moses. Fools. And they gathered themselves together against Moses. And against Aaron and unto them, ye take too much upon you, they're challenging Moses. See, all the congregation are holy, every one of them, and the Lord is among them. Wherefore, then lift ye up yourselves above the congregation of the Lord, Moses, they challenged Moses. And when Moses heard that, he fell on his face. Oh, we could, how dare they? And Moses, he heard it, fell on his face. And he spoke to them, rah, rah. all the company saying, even tomorrow the Lord will show you who are his and who are holy, Moses said, and, and whom, whom caused to come near to him, and even to those who he have chosen, he will cause to come near him. Yeah, it's going to be free will and God's going to do it, you see. Well, to make a long story short, I'll cut over to here. This is what he this is what happens when you don't listen to. Who oh, is this? God told me. God told me, Sidewinder. That's right, that's right, fellas. Good example, guys. Back to your stations. You see, he came to pass as he had made an end of the speaking to all these words. Moses got done saying, Scoundrels backsliding and not listening to God told me. And he got done speaking all these words. And the ground 
clave asunder that was under them, and the earth opened up her mouth and swallowed them up, and their houses, the whole town, and all the men that appertained unto Korah, and all their goods, yes, Yes, it says here that because of Moses said, he, God will show you. And as soon as Moses spoke these words, the ground opened up and they all fell into it. And they went down alive into the pit. And the earth closed upon them. And they perished from among the congregation. You see, folks, when you're in that church and you're arguing over, I don't know if that pastor is really... I don't, well, I know he's using script. Could be just a one-eyed farmer and you're his flock. A valuable flock of the shepherd. He ain't going to fleece you for your wool, fool. But see, you, you, no, no. God put him there for you. You refuse to use your own mind that you say is God-given. Because you're afraid of not being forgiven. Why? I, I just can't go on much longer with this. Uh, Jesus, come on in. Come on in. I can't do this anymore. Ah! Thank you, Father. Nice lady. has been reporting problems that you've been having. Uh, problem, lots of problems. But I need help. Says you're getting confused on the scriptures. Right? I know Uncle Jesus wouldn't lie to me. So you construed, construed up the uh, New Testament you got problems with Paul's doctrine. You don't understand it. You're all fighting over it. What did Paul talk about? I know there is division among you. There's division among Why is there division among you? So, let me ask you a question. Uh, Fight Club guy I just subscribed to. An interesting channel. Christian channel. I didn't know it was. But I see confusion. I went to the live stream and there was confusion. And bickering. Among your own Christians that are supposed to be full of my Holy Spirit. Paul, who you're confused by, and I don't know why, said, the Holy Spirit will teach you all things. How many things? All things. Lost a couple pages. No matter. No matter. Because the Holy Spirit, if you got it, teach you all things. You wouldn't be having this bickering going on, about me especially. Besides, what you saw here, written in here, I didn't say it. Everything I did while I was here, I was trying to release people from the one-eyed farmers. The one-eyed farmers, they're in politics and religion. Even slip into education. And science is another tool that don't give a damn about a fool. Use your mind, though. Your mind. <laughs> I'm not even going to bother going with these guys. So, I challenge all you people. Let's go back to Paul again. 
Why do you not understand what Paul says? He's perfectly clear. I know what I do is wrong, but I don't want it to be that way, but it's wrong. Thank God for the Lord Jesus Christ saving me, in other words. But you're supposed to have the power of the Holy Spirit if you really have it in your And you're fighting over who really has it. I mean, the, some Christians, they say they have it, but they run somebody over. And at the same time, what did I tell you? Bless them that curse you. Pray for them that despitefully use you. What are you doing? You're bickering amongst your own selves. Your life's on hold. It's been suspended. You're stuck in a mold. Never knew you pretended. And then one day, your life just ended. And then you're going to meet me. And I'm going to say to a lot of people, get the hell away from me. Because I never knew you. I never knew you. But didn't we say your name and cast out demons? And... No, you went to the doctor. You took care of each other. You took somebody for a ride somewhere. You took it all the while boasting inside, even though nobody knew. Instead of just doing it out of your regular, spirit-filled... Let me tell you about spirit. So you stop being so damn confused, folks. And damn is a word, because it means, like, you messed up, you're damned. But you can get undamned if you use your mind. God, give it mind. Call it what you want. You only got one. A mind is a mind. But you want to continue blind leading the blind is all I've been seeing for 2,000 plus years. Before that, I won't even mention it. Won't even mention it. Following false prophets. And, and the shame about the Old Testament is people want to swear that Daniel is talking about today. No. That was set up for the people of Daniel. What a waste of time. You mean to tell me that my father had them reading that for nothing? What the... What's wrong with you people? But anyway, let's get back to good old-fashioned Paul, who said he knew so much about me. When he came, he said, he don't mention me. He said, I don't know if I saw him in the body or out of body. I was in the third heaven. He was in the third heaven, all right. Kind of reminds me of Joseph Smith and the, and the tablets. I don't know why they didn't believe him. Some people believe him. But at least they saw him. Some people. I mean, Paul is... How do you know he didn't work for the Romans? I mean, there's so many. So many things we go through. The idea is, anyway, whether Paul said it or not, don't you know what is right? You name it sin, and you put it in all these different categories. And you wonder why an atheist can do something good. And an atheist could be a shithead, too, just as well as you. So while you're all divided, then no, no, I'm going to fix it up. Don't worry about it. Everybody's going to come together and have a good society now that I'm here. I was trying to help out. Oh, they've been voted in the proper direction. Get the... Mm -hmm. You have all... You're all doing the same thing as these puppets here. Your desire. Your lies. As long as you have breath to make choices in life. You fight over names instead of what is within you. Spirit. You have a living spirit as long as you're alive. Why don't you argue about whether you exist after afterwards? Or is it that you need a ticket to heaven is that what makes you want to do good? Or do you just realize and desire what is right? Because you know it's right. Whether you get a ticket to heaven or not. I'm very disappointed, very disappointed. And the heaven that may exist, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you anymore. And if you read here, this won't tell you what heaven's like either. See, you're still using your imagination and listening to men that wrote books more books about this book that says at the end not to add unto it. The plagues of this book will be on you. But 
You think because you call them Christians, you read their books. Booms! Blasphemous! In my name. Will you say my name? You play the game. But they, they sit at the top. They made the game. They're kings that don't stop. We have no shame. We have no shame. They have no shame. They sit at the top. They made the game. All the rulers wrote this to control the generations at the time. And while I was back there existing, I was trying to free the minds of the people that were indoctrinated of the religion of my time, which you know nothing of by reading this old newspaper. You're studying, look, you're studying. It doesn't take long to read the New Testament. Why have you been studying it all this time and are still confused about how to behave together? Sorry, but you don't have what I was trying to present as my spirit. But you do all have the same things. You have breath and life. How you use it is up to you. And you're free to abuse it too. Because free will exists in a form that we understand. And all you philosophers can argue over that too. I don't give a damn. I challenge all Christians and people of interest in the Bible to read all through here and think without being afraid. Because if you really cared about what God thought, you would challenge what man wrote. Or at least try to see if man wrote it. If you're afraid of missing out on something, like heaven, or you have the fear of hell, then your motives for truth and goodness may be false. I, I, I'm trying to save the nation. I was trying to do the same thing, and my representatives were trying. No, no, you were. You're harming a lot of people. You, you got, you guys. I don't exactly what to do with you guys. No, no, not that, no! Uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh, well, folks, I hope y'all read the scriptures and realize that I was back there breaking the rules because I felt sorry for fools I really did I saw what we were going through at that time in that generation and I tried to stop it and now it's your turn because it's your world now what the hell are you going to do with it I hope you make it heaven I hope you make it heaven gotta go here come folks!